Princess Diana's spiteful and unkind behavior towards Prince Charles has been revealed in a tell-all biography. It is said during Prince Charles and Princess Diana's official visit to South Korea in 1992, the mother of two could barely conceal the true nature of their deteriorating marriage. The princess insisted it was platonic. Although they lived separate lives and lived on separate residences, they still appeared together in their many public appearances to show a unified front for the royal family. At first, they were able to fool the public into thinking that all was well, according to Jessica Jane's 2012 biography on Prince Charles. In the book, Prince Charles' Biography, The Life of the Prince of Wales and Future King of England, it is revealed that on their official visit to South Korea in 1992, Diana could barely conceal the true nature of their deteriorating marriage. The official visit, which Prince Charles' private secretary promoted as a togetherness tour, was labeled by the Sunday Times as a reconciliation. Barely a month before the scheduled visit, the newspaper published articles which promoted that Charles and Diana were back in each other's arms and trying to sort out their marriage. But on this day, when the couple emerged from the aircraft at Seoul, it was obvious that they had just had an argument, claims M's Jane. Her biography said the royal couple refused to look at each other and did not smile at each other. Though Buckingham Palace explained that the couple was tired and jet-lagged, it did not satisfy the press, who speculated that Diana was ordered by the Queen to go with Charles to South Korea. Jessica Jane writes in the biography, apparently, Charles had had enough. On their return to Britain, he asked Diana for a legal separation, to which she readily agreed. Every time they and their advisers met, the negotiations would end in slammed doors, shouting and tears. Charles went through this in agony. One of his advisers told Andrew Morton, author of Diana, Her True Story, that Charles was a man who liked a quiet, ordered existence. The insider added, he went through mental anguish every time he met Diana because of the sheer unreasonableness of her behavior. In the book, Ms. Jane also said, Prince Charles did not attack Diana in public, although his friends encouraged him to do so. Some of his friends saw this as the behavior of a gentleman. On December 9, 1992, the then Prime Minister John Major informed the House of Commons that the Prince and Princess of Wales were separating but had no plans of divorcing. The compelling biography on the heir to the British throne reveals it was reported that Diana had kept their sons from spending time with their father at a children's museum a behavior that indicated her spiteful nature. It was also rumored that Diana demanded her own palace and a large sum of money and her own royal court. Lady Pamela Hicks, the daughter of Lord Mountbatten, claimed the late princess was spiteful and unkind towards her husband and had no interest in the rest of the royal family or royal life. She said Diana believed she was the star of the family and would rather attend discos and listen to music than integrate into her royal duties. She was really spiteful, really unkind to him, she said in an astonishing interview with Vanity Fair magazine.